So I stumbled across a video of this polyglot named Xiaoma speaking perfect Chinese and catching people off guard. As I watched him shock one local after another, it got me thinking, why wasn't I speaking perfect Chinese? I literally have a whole lifetime of experience speaking another Chinese language. It should be easy, right? My whole life, everyone's been telling me I should learn Mandarin for business, and I even studied it for two years in college. But that was never enough to really motivate me. The real reason I wanted to learn Mandarin was because of my high school best friend, Tiffany. Tiffany grew up in Taiwan and was always sharing her culture with me. We had so many fond memories when we were younger, and it was time to ask her if she'd stand by my side at my wedding. So my plan was simple. I was gonna surprise her with a conversation in Mandarin and also ask her to be my bridesmaid. So we scheduled a Zoom call for the following week to catch up. Now I only had seven days to learn to speak Mandarin. Go Oh, I'm feeling really good right now. On day one, I decided to play some Duolingo. Kuzi, shoot. I don't know what a kuzi is. Does that mean like pants? Should I cheat and look it up? Oh, it is pants. Okay, I knew it, I knew it. Playing Duolingo was a lot of fun, but I definitely feel like you can kind of game the game and it wasn't getting me any closer to my goal of asking my best friend to be my bridesmaid but I think it was a good way to gauge my current level and give me the motivation I needed to move on to day two. Let's look up vlog. I wanna see how much I understand. A walk in the Chinese countryside, lower intermediate Chinese. Okay, I think that's good. Let's try that. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I kind of get that. My my body is in like I get it, but like I don't get it. Like why is it said like that? What? It's really fast. I'm not at this level. 30 sentences to talk about feelings and emotions. An hour and a half videos. How do people watch that? Easy Mandarin. Ooh, easy Korean. Oh, easy Taiwanese Mandarin. Um, I'm so tired just from watching a bunch of Mandarin that like I kind of understand. I feel like I'm getting a lot of information, but very little is being absorbed. I realized I needed a different approach if I wanted to reach my goal of speaking Mandarin with my best friend. I'm a Cantonese speaker after all. There had to be a better way. And that brings us to today's sponsor. A few weeks ago, I reviewed part of the Canto to Mando blueprint in one of my videos. And honestly, that's what inspired me to do this challenge because it made me realize that learning Mandarin wouldn't take me as long as I thought it would. Unlike traditional Mandarin courses, the Canto to Mando blueprint is designed specifically for Cantonese speakers. So it leverages all the Cantonese you know, even if you're only at a basic level. I honestly believe that if you have a Cantonese background, this course will get you speaking Mandarin way faster than other methods. And since the Canto Mando boys are the brains behind it, it's actually really engaging. They somehow even managed to make grammar interesting. Okay, that makes so much more sense. Yeah. The course is also interactive with quizzes, challenges, a private Facebook group where you'll find your conversation partner, and live streams with Sheldon. Alright, so let's go to your lab. You go to and check out the link down below if you also want to learn to speak Mandarin. After three days of the course, I feel like I was finally making some progress. My brain was slowly getting better at converting Cantonese into Mandarin. I think if I had a whole month to go through the course, I'd definitely be ready to have a conversation with Tiffany. The problem was I didn't have a month. I only had two days left and I was freaking out. Hello, Fuzzy. Why? Oh, I'm looking. <laughs> I decided I needed to test my Mandarin, so I called one of my Hong Kong friends. What you learned something? I'm in Duolingo. Uh huh. Learned a bit. We'd never actually spoken Mandarin together before, so it was a little weird. And I kept mixing it up with Cantonese. Well, but if this was any indication of how my conversation with Tiffany was gonna go, I was gonna have a problem. I mean, there's no way I could have improved enough in just one week to speak perfect Mandarin. 
So I decided to change my plan. Instead of a full conversation, I was just going to ask Tiffany to be my bridesmaid using only Mandarin. I had my friend help me script out what I was going to say and then practice it a few times. So with a bit of practice in, I thought I was ready for the big day. Okay, I'm going to have seat. That morning, I tried my best to get everything ready, but of course, there had to be some technical difficulties. When we finally got connected, I just went straight for it. Okay, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I was a nervous wreck. So I have a few things to say to you. Woshan 珍贵的时光 Oh my gosh, Tiffany! I was so nervous. At the end of it all, I don't think I did a particularly good job. I messed up, got nervous, I used a script for crying out loud. But even if it means that I could reach my best friend, then I'm glad I did it. I've always stood by the idea that learning a language for someone you care about is a really worthwhile endeavor. Of course, it's not something that you can just do in a mere seven days, but if you've ever wanted to learn a language for someone you love, this is your sign to get on it. Well, obviously it feels like, it feels a little closer. Yeah. <laughs> Even yeah, though it was like it, terrible it was, Mandarin. No, but it was cute. It was still like, if you wanted to speak the language that I most I thought it was a really heartfelt idea. Oh, thanks. Yeah.